we're looking at evolution is a lie and one of the things that the atheist and skeptics will say is an evolutionist and secularist uh, when you tell them that Hitler was influenced by evolution uh, they try to hide it but you can actually go and watch documentaries where um, the Nazis uh, were really into evolution and that was their main theological scientific ideological paradigm that they used to move forward uh, their agenda now you get atheists that are trying to do revisionist history where they're trying to go back and say they can prove that that's not the case that Hitler was religious and uh, we all know that Hitler's troops had in God we trust on the uh, German um, uh, belts we, we all know that uh, Hitler talked to, about he was a Christian and everything like that um, but we also know that he used to say those things because to gain favor and to gain political power but we also know that the Third Reich was into very cultist kind of religious practices nothing to do with Christianity and we all know that Hitler was just using Christianity as a foil to be able to um, change and manipulate the German people and so we all know that he was basically influenced ultimately by evolution and so what the atheists and skeptics do they they get these texts where Hitler talks favorable about Christianity but they fail to give you the text where he also says we must use Christianity because it's the religion of the weak people okay Sir Arthur Keith was a British anthropologist and atheist evolutionist and an anti-Nazi but he drew this chilly conclu chilling conclusion so this is from an atheist the German Führer as I have consistently maintained is an evolutionist he has consciously sought to make the practice of Germany conform to the theory of evolution evolution and ethics by Sir Keith Puntman NY USA page 20 1947